How do you feel like Obey and music like really, you know, go together? It's such a beautiful marriage, you know, like his art and music really speaks and that's why we've collaborated, you know, I've been so lucky to collaborate with him on two drum sets of mine. Yeah. Where we've literally put his art onto the drums and he's hand painted some, which is pretty cool. We have one set he made me is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right now, and the other set just debuted at the uh, Hard Rock in Vegas. Nice. And then we're about to work on a new one now, so it's pretty pretty That's exciting. Incredible. It's really cool to collaborate. What caught your attention um, from like what what piece of his caught your attention the first time? Um, the first time was just the iconic Andre the Giant. Just seeing it, you know, growing up in New York, seeing it everywhere. But you know, we made my drum set based on his Rise Above piece about gun, you know, illegal, you know, gun violence and stuff. Um, you know, just because my art. I'd rather it speak in the way I perform and my drums than just right. with the mouth. And it's just a powerful piece that was really cool to tour the world with, you know, those drums and that, that message, you know. Right. Now, aside from your drums, I know you have your own, like, clothing. Um, is that a possible collaboration you guys might see between Obey and, and um, Zumo? You never know. I mean, who knows? I mean, I, and I love wearing Obey clothing, too. It's some of the dopest stuff. Um, and, you know, it definitely influences me, so. Now, lastly, I got to hang out with Derek right before 13 Voices Drop. That was the first record you did with the band. What was your experience like going into the studio and creating that record with them? It was one of the most special times watching my friend rebound from a really horrible, you know, health scare and seeing this record be his therapy to get through it and come out better and stronger than ever. And him and I just, you know, stood on stage at the Hollywood Bowl the other night playing with Lincoln Park, you know, and it was like so amazing to see how far he's come and to, to be, you know, on that journey with him. What's next in your journey with music right now? Um, I am, you know, literally just getting ready to enjoy being home with the family after a year and a half of touring. You guys have been nonstop, yeah. We've been nonstop. Um, I'm going to do a drum set for uh, Emo Night Day at the Shrine okay. in uh, early December. Nice. And then um, we're going to get in the studio and start working on new Sum 41 material. Awesome, dude. Can't wait for that.